Scott, since we're out on a wonderful day. I don't know how your day's going, but I hope that this video will make it better. I just let's let you relax a bit and drive with us in the country in the 54 Mercury. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a good way to spend the day. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and I have Ken Nagel, our friend who brings, well, some of the best cars on the planet to the channel. And that said, this one's personal for him. Ken, what do we have here today? Well, this is a 54 Mercury. Uh, as you can see, it's black with a nice cloth black top on it. Uh, the engine's a uh, 250, 256 cubic inch engine and 161 uh, horsepower. Uh, it's got all the uh, power options to it. And, uh, but other than that, that's about the car. But it's just uh, the restoration on it is just stunning. And again, it was done by Bob Keene in Stanton, Nebraska. Let's take uh -huh. a look at Bob's work. The Mercury Monterey. Mercury Monterey. Convertible. And this one's personal for you because what was your first car? My first car, uh, which I have in the barn, uh, is a 54, same Mer uh, car, 54 Mercury, but it's a two-door hardtop, black and white. And we'll eventually see that car also. And there, what a wonderful crest. Really well done. Nice hood ornament, along with a little faux scoop. This car, as they said, the restoration is done to the tens on it, and here on the bumper it shows in 2010 we won the National uh, Regional uh, AACA Award for Best Restoration on this car. Wow. And uh, so it was quite an honor. And I just want to feature that bumper as well. Really nice with the are those fog lights? Fog lights or, yeah. Yep. yep. Really well done. Let's show this car from the side now. I'll get closer to some of the features. And as we move to the side, well, the sun comes out. And this one's well. Just beaming. Wow. So as we get closer, you'll see the word Monterey featured on the quarter, along with this custom chrome pieces with the wheel skirt, the nice little door lock mode there, the mirrors with the Spotlight. Spotlight. Mm -hmm. Connected to them. Our windscreen. And I'll actually turn this this way. So you can see our wheel. And another opportunity for a beautiful crest right there. While we're um, Going around the back, let's uh, feature the back and then we'll open the trunk in a second here. Jen, my guard dog, keeping tabs on us. So you, if you hear that panting in the background, that could be me, but it's probably Jen. There's a high probability Jen the dog will be panting in the background. merc o -matic. Look at this wonderful piece right here. That's just jewelry. And our chrome exhaust. Let's open that trunk for him, shall we? 
Now, we don't have any trunk and treats, but I do have something unique for you here. Not just the fact of this. Here's obviously our cover. There's our car jack piece, but this is a steering wheel cover. So you just put that over the steering wheel in case you... When it sits in the sun. In, sits the in the sun, down. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can grab it, not burn your hand. There you go. Uh -huh. And since we have the sun on there, look at the intricacy of that tail light. Where you can see that that actual tail light's like deep in there. So it, when it lights, it lights that whole piece up. Quite innovative. We'll close that. As we close it, I want to give you one more look at the back. So you see that nice profile. You know, relatively, it, it has the appearance of a very thin car. Mm -hmm. it, right. uh, it's very long and thin. So let's go to our interior. Okay. You can hear how classy that is when you open it. It just has a great sound. Nice panel on that door. And you can see we've got the power windows and another nice crest emblem. Here's our tag giving you some information on engine oil, our pedals. Let me let you take in the instrumentation. I'll show you that. So as you sit here, you see our park reverse neutral drive low, but notice it has this kind of telescopic feel to it with the temperature. It really has to do a lot of it to, with the airplanes. Uh, air was uh, influence in the 50s, early 50s, into the car field. This is like raising, you know, raising the plane into to, to, on liftoff. Gotcha. When you think about it, and the fins and all that, and the '59 Chevys were, you know, the tail fins and things like that. Yeah. So heavily aircraft influenced. Aircraft, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh -huh. And although you don't have the word Mercury out in the side, you have another wonderful crest for the viewer. And you do have the word Monterey on the side. On Monterey the uh -huh. like for your passenger to remember what, they what you're in. driving. <laughs> so let me just yeah. So let me just show you kind of from the side what that looks like. Ken, when you take this one to a show, what's uh, the reaction? I, I think the the big attraction on it is the uh, is the quality of the work, uh, the, the restoration on it. Uh, you know, the, I think the piping on the the uh, cloth top here, the red uh, against the black, just uh, makes it stand out. And uh, just the overall uh, quality of that. I mean, the engine is a, just an engine, you know, the motor. It's nothing to write home about, but uh, it's just a nice quality car. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look under the hood. Okay. And we'll open that up. Mm -hmm. They did a nice job I'm giving you a presentation. I mean, you've got this foam type yeah. material that you glass, see, uh, yeah. fiberglass. Uh, uh -huh. This very 50s grain, exactly. like a sea foam grain. That's quite the Instructions for the blower. No question what you're writing in with the mercury. You know, for a car of this year, there's a lot going on under here. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually you feel a little more space, but not in this one. Now, Ken, is there anything special with this engine or? No, it's just a, it's a two, uh, 256 cubic inch engine and 161 horsepower. Uh, this car was restored. I bought it in 2007, and it was restored uh, right after that. And, uh, and the restoration, again, was done by Bob uh, Keen in Staten, Nebraska. And uh, we did win in 2010. We uh, won the Central Division 
uh, Best Restoration Award with AACA, wow. so which was quite a, 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 a nice award. Yeah, that's wonderful. One of the biggest we've ever won. All right, let's uh, fire it up, shall we? Okay. Won the Restoration Award. Step on the brakes, please, while we're back here. Let me move up. Okay. It's been like a pod in there. So Ken, we're getting a chance to drive the Mercury, and this one I know is special to you. Yeah. Why is that? Well, it's a, it's actually uh, I, my, one of my first cars, which I have back in the garage right now. Is it was, my first car was a '54 Mercury, but it was a hard top, and uh, uh, we'll be doing that one shortly. And uh, but this one here, I was always partial to '54 Mercs. I got three of them, and uh, they're they're all a little different, but they mean something. They bring back memories, if nothing else, for me. That is so, absolutely yeah. wonderful. It's interesting too how you have this kind of pod that sticks out as you drive and, and um, we'll let people just enjoy the cruise with us here. Let me take this one out for a ride. Yeah. Out in the country. Out in the country. It's got a great feel to it. I mean, you don't even feel the road no. hurt. It's, you just kind of float along. That's yeah, nice. Well, Ken, what a treat. Always so much fun. I'm glad we're getting the chance to take this car out and uh, show the globe. If people like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can see all the cars. Ken, thanks for being on My Car Story. What a treat. Good. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me.